Okay, back to the storm. A couple of things to note. Uh, you know, this notion that it's a minor league system, I, that's going to get a lot of play. I still think we should take this very seriously. I, I do, because I think that potential there for some areas of two-inch rain, it's there. And that's what caused the mudslide last time. We're not going to see a storm like that. That was a one in 200 year event where we saw most of that two inches fall in a five minute window. This is going to take longer for that much rain to fall, but I do think moderate rain rates are possible. This is Cayucas, still plenty of sunshine out there. So I just want to get that out there because I think it's important to say, okay, this is the system. Not much going on tonight. Early tomorrow, some scattered rain starts as early as say midnight to 3 a.m. This is noon. Lighter rains falling around the area, including into Santa Barbara County. So again, we talked so much about, well, the rainfall really holding off until midnight. No, it's going to rain before midnight. Absolutely. And there's a look at some rainfall in Santa Barbara County as early as seven o'clock. This is the main band. This is what they're worried about inside here. You can see that the modeling is showing us at least moderate rain rates as this moves down the coast. Now we're talking about midnight and this front. No, is not quite yet to the Montecito burn scar area. It does sweep through between midnight and six o'clock in the morning. And I agree. I think the models have stepped back away from the intensity a hair, but keep in mind, there's a flash flood watch in the area for a reason because there's going to be a moderate amount of rainfall. It's going to continue into Friday and even into Saturday as well. There's some more scattered rain, but that wouldn't do much. I mean, we're really talking about that Thursday night into Friday morning time frame. And when you get these kind of rainfalls at night, it can be kind of scary because you just can't see what's happening. So again, when you look at Montecito and Carpinteria, we're looking at an inch of rain, but up in the hills here, all of that is in the inch and a half to two and a half inch range with potentially as much as three inches. Also, strong southerly winds are going to push up into those slopes. Well, obviously it's going to drive the air up. As air goes up, it tends to basically squeeze out more rainfall. So that's one of the reasons that particular area is going to see a moderate amount of rainfall. Also, we cannot discount there are other burn scars and the rest of the central coast is going to see decent rainfall as well. Generally, the rainfall will be between a half an inch and an inch and a quarter outside of hills and south facing slopes. Another element will be the wind. So right now, not much going on, but as we get into Thursday, you can see these winds picking up out of the south. 15 to 30 with some gusts of 40 and maybe even 50 miles per hour. And there you can see along the front as it moves through Thursday night into Friday, it will also push all of that moisture up into the hills. And that's again, basically how you create moderate rainfall and rain rates can be up to a half inch. That half inch is a really critical number, the half inch per hour, and it's definitely possible. Okay, so here's the system. It's wrapping around. It's lingering into the weekend. Then we have to watch what could happen next week. There's a system out there. This is Wednesday next week. As we move into maybe Thursday, Friday, it doesn't look like a whopper at this point, but we'll bring rain back into the area. So we badly need the rain. We just need it at a rate we can handle that won't do any damage in the Montecito area. So how do you cheer for it? It's uh, you cheer for rain. You just cheer for it not to fall too fast. OK, so with the rain and the wind and all of that stuff, the overnight lows are going to be fairly mild tonight. Daytime highs tomorrow right around 60 degrees, pretty much everywhere in the area. So we're just going to kind of move past that into the five day forecast. So rain on Thursday, high likelihood scattered rain on Friday into Saturday. We'll know whether or not we have a problem by the time we get into Friday morning. Stay right there. We're back after this. Well, tonight, the CEO of Dick's 